Let's run through a really nice alternative to Excel's native autofit functionality. What autofit does in Excel is it allows the user to just double click where a column or row borders the next column or row, and then it will adjust, say, for this column, the width so that each of the cells within that column are fully visible. So here, in this case, it will adjust to the width of item 3 special because that's the widest value. Column C here, we can see, is much too large. We could just auto-fit it by double-clicking right here where it borders on column D, and then it will contract to a more appropriate width, which is really just the width of these six figure numbers, these ones here. Therefore, everything in this column is now visible. We can see that our row heights aren't quite appropriate. We can't see this full item three special. So let's go ahead and auto-fit these. Let's select the entire rows so that everything auto-fits at once. And then we can see that row 11 here is actually hidden. Let's see how auto-fit handles that. Oh, we can see that row 11 actually unhides and auto-fits as well. This could be an annoyance if you have a lot of hidden rows in your workbook and would like those rows to remain hidden. Let's look at the Macabicus alternative, which offers a really nice accommodation for this. So undoing that work, now let's use the Macabicus shortcuts to auto-fit. With the Macabicus shortcuts, all you have to do is just highlight the cells that you would like to be subject to the auto-fit, which are all of these we can say let's start with auto fit height to fix the rows let's use alt shift page down oh and we can see a prompt asking us if we would like to auto fit the hidden rows as well let's opt out and we can see that row 11 actually remains hidden that's awesome and we can further customize this by going up into settings configure and then if we go into cell size we can see that we have options for auto-fit behavior. We can either prompt to auto-fit hidden rows and columns, never auto-fit hidden rows or columns, or always auto-fit hidden rows and columns. This allows full customization based on what your intention is for hidden rows and columns. You may like the native behavior, so you're always free to set that. Now let's look at the column. Just highlight the cells you would like to be subject to the auto-fit, so let's select that block of cells, and then let's use the Macabacus keyboard shortcut, Control alt shift page down. And we can see a really clean and quick auto fit. The Macabacus functionality has advantages over the native Excel functionality. For one, you can use a keyboard and just use those really quick shortcuts, as opposed to using a mouse and having to manually double click. And it also allows you to select the specific cells you would like to be subject to the auto fit, you could select certain cells and actually emit other cells. And then also, as discussed, the functionality around hidden rows. We can see that row 11 is still hidden. That's auto fit in Macabicus. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.